With the continued manpower shortage in the Butte Police Department, they've actually had to temporarily suspend their traffic division so that they can concentrate on patrolling the streets of Butte. And that's why they want to encourage more people to consider a career in law enforcement. You know, people are not flocking to this profession like they used to. Back in the older, you know, when I started uh, 34 years ago, you know, there was probably over 100 people that took the test. Uh, the last time we took the test, we barely had 30 show up. Police need to hire six officers to bring staffing back up to 52. The sheriff said that while law enforcement is a rewarding job, it's not an easy profession. You have to be committed to doing this job. It's not a hobby. It's not a. It's it's a. It's a lifestyle, and you have to dedicate yourself to doing this job and, and doing some things that are difficult, and you'd see things that you shouldn't. Before the drop in staffing, Butte would have one officer in the morning and afternoon shift dedicated to responding to traffic calls. Now officers have to do both traffic and routine patrolling. But when you add uh, emphasis to one area, then you have to take officers away from other areas. And so, and the criminals aren't stupid. They can see that, you know, there's a lot of cops in a certain area. They don't want to operate in that area, so they, they move around. Last year, Butte Police had a little more than 29,000 calls for service and more than 1,700 arrests. We're always working to try to uh, stem the tide of drugs in our community, and that drives the the property crimes in our community as well. So if we can have an impact in the, in the drug situation, it will affect our property crimes. People have until Friday, September 22nd, to submit an application on the Butte Silver Bow website. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.